Then shall the kingdom of heaven be like unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. For when the foolish virgin, she was a virgin just lacking oil, but when she come to buy oil, it was at that time that the bridegroom came and she was left out. That's why the rapture, the bride, the wise virgin, the called out, the foreordained, the elected, God knew before the foundation of the world who would be saved and who would not be saved. Now, when the woman, she makes up in her mind which way she has a pattern here. And she makes up in her mind which way she is going to cut this pattern, what's going to be cut from. Is that right? Well, she gets what she thinks is the sufficient and best part of the, of the pattern. Is that right? Because it's almost the same good. But she lays it like this, maybe, like that. She lays it down. Then she takes her scissors and she cuts it out. Now, what's left over is called rimming. All right. Now, what is this pattern? How was it known? By the one, the place that the lady elected to cut it from. God, before the foundation of the world, knew the end from the beginning, by foreknowledge, he elected where to cut. Amen. He knows the difference between Esau and Jacob. Here goes the church home. It goes home. Here is the remnant that's left over. And here is the 144,000 on Mount Sinai out of two. Not three different brides. It's the bride, the remnant, and the 144,000. Exactly. To show you that the resurrection is going to be universal, there will be two in the field, and I'll take one, and two in the bed, and I'll take one. See? It'll be the night one place and daylight on the other side of the earth. It'll be a universal resurrection, that rapture, the trumpet of God shall sound. When that virgin, when she's seen in the seventh watch, there were seven watches. And at the end of the seventh watch, there was a voice right out, Behold the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. And they rose and trimmed their lamps. This is the time when they're coming to buy that oil the sleeping virgin's been sleeping all along. Don't know the hour you're living. Every church agent, every star, every minister to the church agent, every angel to the church has done made its manifestation. If you know that this church agent is the only church agent that Jesus has put out his church is down, not down to the point trying to get back in the lady of this church age. Don't you see the hour we're living? What's the matter with people? Can't you see we're at the end time? It's all over. The next thing will be a sweep of dust that will group together in a month or so she'll be gone as soon as she's gathered together. But we're at the end. There's a whole class nowhere. Run to Christ, people. You remember when they come before Samuel and said, we want, a, we want Saul to be a, a king? And God told Samuel, said, they haven't rejected you as prophet. They've rejected me. The very minute that that outside denominational world begins to receive this message, that's exactly the hour he's coming. When it, when it went, the sleeping virgin realized she didn't have any oil in her lamp. And when she comes to knock on the door to get it, that was exactly when the bride went out. When the wise virgin left. That's right, they didn't get in. No, and them organizations won't come in. They won't have the opportunity to. Time the message gets around, the church will be gone. So if they're trying to get in right now, how close are we? Now when we see the bridegroom, all the clouds in the sky, will he be telling you hello or telling